Okay, we are live now. Okay, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our council meeting for Tuesday, October the 11th, 2022. Land acknowledgement, we acknowledge that we are gathered on the traditional territory of Indigenous peoples who have been stewards of the land since time immemorial, and as such, we treat the land, its plants, animals, stories, and people with honor and respect. So, can we all stand for the singing of O Canada, please? Take a, a moment for a moment of silence, please. Thank you. So uh, good afternoon and welcome. Today is our last regularly scheduled council meeting for the current term. And I'd like to take this opportunity to personally thank all staff and members of council for their dedication and hard work in moving the town forward in a very positive and cooperative manner. It's also been an interesting four years as we navigated through the effects of the pandemic, dramatically rising costs, supply chain issues, and staffing shortages. On the council side, many of you have served over the last two, two or more terms in that time, we have seen a dramatic transformation in the financial health of the municipality and have laid a very solid foundation for further positive results as the town moves forward. There have been many individual achievements that have been built around two main principles, improving the physical appearance of the town and attracting new development to expand the tax base and increase revenues. Growth and progress do not happen by accident. All municipalities are in competition for the same development dollars and must stand out and differentiate themselves. This process started in Bancroft over 10 years ago through work done by the Downtown Revitalization Committee and the, and the BBIA. Together they embarked on many beautification efforts to improve the attractiveness of the town that are still prominent today. The four gateway gardens being a prime example. These efforts continue to this day with the recent mural initiatives, annual flower and banner displays, and the town's downtown revitalization project, Main Street Makeover, that will truly transform the appearance of our downtown. During the current term, we also embarked on creation of a strategic economic development plan through an extensive public engagement process. The result, the result titled Making Our Future has served as a blueprint to build on past initiatives and move forward with a series of recommendations to further foster growth, and we are seeing results. Approved plans for approximately 400 new residential units over the next several years, plus a hotel and new seniors residences. Attractiveness also means access to services and facilities, and there have been many advancements in that area. The town has worked with community organizations and service providers to add new daycare spaces and a youth hub, enhancement of transit services, support for the arts, and upcoming construction of a seniors targeted fitness facility and community use space. 
We're also in the final engineering design stage for our new library affordable housing project. Other programs, including our tax differential rebate program and no development fee policy are also cited as being attractive incentives for new development projects to locate in Bancroft. However, the job is not done as there are other projects in the planning stage, plus a great need for government supported housing and a concrete program to deal with the homeless, homelessness, mental health and addiction issue that many municipalities are facing. So my message moving forward to the next council is to follow the plans, the economic development plan, the community improvement plan, the asset management plan, and the financial plan. They are all relevant for the foreseeable future. Follow the plans and the results will continue to follow. Thank you. So approval of the agenda, be it resolved that the uh, Council of the Corporation of the Town of Bancroft is hereby approved of the open session agenda dated October 11th, 2022 as presented. Could I have a mover and a seconder on that, please? Councillor Tracy McGibbon, Councillor John Kirby, all in favor, please. So pass, thank you. Declaration of pecuniary interests and nature thereof, seeing none. We have no presentations or delegations today, but we do have a public meeting under the Planning Act. So as required by the Planning Act, the purpose of the public meeting is to inform the public and hear representation respect of a proposed bylaw for the purpose of rezoning lands within the municipality. Those persons or public bodies provide verbal submissions in respect of the proposed bylaw will be requested to provide their name and address for recording in the minutes. Verbal submissions may be recorded in the minutes and will assist council in making a decision on the proposed bylaw. Be it resolved that the council of the corporation, the town of Bancroft is hereby moved into public meeting pursuant to the planning act for the purpose of hearing support and or objection for rezoning applications within the municipality. Could I have a mover and a seconder on that? Uh, Deputy mayor and Councillor Wiggins, all in favor? Pass, thank you. So before us today, we have zoning bylaw amendment application number 005, 2022. Uh, the file description owners are Stephen and Beverly White, legal description parts of lots 23, 24 and 25, concession five, geographic township of Dungan and now town of Bancroft County of Hastings. Purpose, in effect, the purpose of the proposed zoning bylaw amendment application is to satisfy conditions of provisional consent for county land division file numbers B622 and B722, respectively. So at this time, we'll call on Robin to give uh, the planning coordinator's report, please. Good afternoon, Your Worship, members of council, staff, and those viewing. The town has received a complete zoning bylaw amendment application to rezone the lands um, as legally described as part of lots 23, 24, and 25, concession five, geographic township of Dungannon, now town of Bancroft County of Hastings. The uh, purpose is to satisfy conditions of provisional consent. For file numbers B622 and B722, which were granted provisional consent on May 4th, 2022, to create two new lots. The subject lands are currently vacant and are approximately 29 hectares in area. The lands have frontage on Upper Turf Road, which is a public road, and are bisected by a private road known as Gaffney Lake Lane. The proposed retained and severed lands will have water frontage on Gaffney Lake. A key map and site sketch have been uh, provided uh, to supplement this report. The subject lands are also located within a stratum one deer wintering yard and stratum two deer wintering area as, identif as identified in Schedule B of the Hastings County Official Plan. To support the consent applications, a scoped environmental impact study was prepared by KBM Inc. dated December 15, 2020. The scoped EIS identified building envelopes and provided recommendations to be implemented to minimize development 
related impacts to the deer habitat. The developable areas are identified on the site natural heritage feature figure, which is also attached to the report. The retained lands are approximately 22.2 hectares in area with 122 meters of frontage on Upper Turf Road. These lands are to be rezoned from the limited service residential zone and the rural residential zone to the rural zone to recognize frontage on a public street and to provide consistent zoning. The lot to be created by consent file number B6 22 is approximately 3.4 hectares in area with 108 meters of frontage on Upper Turf Road and 365 meters of frontage on Gaffney Lake Lane. The identified building envelope for the proposed lot is approximately 0.55 hectare and is adjacent to Gaffney Lake Lane. The subject lands are to be rezoned from the limited service residential zone to the waterfront residential exception five holding WR5-8 zone. The proposed zoning bylaw amendment will provide site-specific provisions to implement the recommendations of the scoped EIS as prepared by Cambium Inc. The site provision, site-specific provisions are as follows. No development shall be permitted more than 30 meters from Gaffney Lake Lane, which forms the front lot line. The minimum front yard setback from Gaffney Lake Lane shall be 7.5 meters and development shall be restricted to only the building envelope as shown on Schedule 1 of the prepared uh, zoning bylaw amendment. The purpose of the holding provision is in to ensure that legal access via Gaffney Lake Lane, a private road, to the developable area of the subject lands has been obtained to the satisfaction of the municipality. The lot to be created by consent file number B722 is approximately three hectares in area with 242 meters of frontage on Upper Turf Road. The identified building envelope for the proposed lot is approximately 0.3 hectare and is adjacent to Upper Turf Road. The subject lands are to be rezoned from the limited service residential zone to the waterfront residential exception six zone. Following circulation of the notice of public meeting, it was determined that a small portion of lands within the identified building envelope encroaches into an area presently zoned environmental protection zone. Therefore, the lands within the building envelope that are zoned environmental protection zone are to be rezoned to the waterfront residential zone, exception six zone as well. The scoped EIS provides the justification to re rezone those lands from environmental protection zone to the waterfront residential exception six zone. The proposed zoning bylaw amendment will provide the site specific provisions to implement the recommendations of the scoped EIS as prepared by Cambium Inc. Those provisions are as follows. No development shall be permitted more than 30 meters from Upper Turf Road. The minimum front yard setback from Upper Turf Road shall be 7.5 meters. And development shall be restricted to, own, to only to the building envelope as shown on Schedule 1 of the proposed uh, zoning bylaw amendment. All lands zoned environmental protection zone are to remain zoned environmental protection zone except for the aforementioned portion. The notice of the public meeting was circulate, circulated as prescribed by the Planning Act. The County of Hastings Senior Planner has offered no objections to the proposed rezoning and to date no other written submissions in respect to the proposed amendment have been received. The bylaw to amend the Town of Bancroft's comprehensive zoning bylaw has been drafted with support from the County of Hastings Planning and Development Department and is on today's agenda for consideration by Council. Staff recommend that the proposed zoning bylaw amendment application be approved to satisfy the conditions of consent for land division files B622 and B722. And that concludes uh, my report, Your Worship. I welcome questions at this time. Any questions from any members of council? Seeing none, so 
Call for public input. If a person or public body does not make verbal submissions at the public meeting or make written submissions to council before the bylaw is passed, the person or public body may not be added as a party to the hearing of an appeal before the Ontario Land Tribunal unless, in the opinion of the tribunal, there are reasonable grounds to do so. So Robin, you indicated there were no written submissions in opposition of the amendment, correct? That's correct, Your Worship. There were no written uh, submissions in opposition. And uh, is there anybody waiting to make a verbal submission in opposition of the proposed amendment? Amber? There, are, there are no verbal submissions. Okay. The same for support. There were no uh, written submissions in support or no verbal uh, submissions in support that, that we're waiting for at this time as well. Correct? That's correct, Your Worship. Thank you. Okay, we'll adjourn from the public meeting at this time. Be it resolved that the Council of the Corporation of Town of Bancroft is hereby adjourned from public meeting and, and reconvene the regular meeting of Council. Could I have a mover and a seconder on that? Councillor Miles and seconded by Councillor Barry McGibbon. So, okay. Planning decision following the public meeting. Council's decision to refuse or pass an application to amend the zoning bylaw is to include a brief explanation of the effect, if any, that the written and verbal submissions related to the application had on the decision. Zoning bylaw amendment application number 005 2022. Be it resolved that the Council of the Corporation of the Town of Bancroft is hereby approve of zoning bylaw amendment application number 005-2022 to rezone lands legally described as part of lots 23, 24, and 25, concession five, geographic township of Dungannon, now town of Bancroft, County of Hastings from limited service residential LSR zone and rural residential RUR zone to rural RU zone from limited service residential LSR zone to waterfront residential exception five holding WR five H zone from limited service residential zone to waterfront residential exception six WR six zone and from environmental protection EP zone to waterfront residential exception six WR six zone. Could I have a mover and a seconder on that please? Moved by Councillor Kirby and seconded by Deputy Mayor. Is there any comments or questions? All in favor, please. So passed, thank you. Next item, minutes of the previous session, be it resolved the Council of the Corporation of the Town of Bancroft is hereby approved of the minutes of the meeting of council held on September 13, 2022 and September 27, 2022 as presented. Could I have a mover and a seconder on that? Councillor Wiggins moves, seconded by. Councillor Barry McGibbon. Any comments or questions on that? Seeing none, all in favor? So passed, thank you. Item 10, minutes of standing committees and verbal updates. First one is committee of the whole, be it resolved that council of the corporation of town of Bancroft is hereby received the minutes of the committee of the whole meeting held on September 27, 2022 as presented. Could I have a mover and a seconder there please? Moved by Councillor Tracy McGibbon and seconded by Deputy Mayor. Any comments or questions? Uh, all in favor, please. Next resolution be it resolved the Council of the Corporation of the Town of Bancroft is hereby adopt administrative monetary penalty system, AMPS, by law for the Town of Bancroft. Could I have a mover and a seconder on that, please? Councillor Wiggins moves and Councillor Kirby seconds. Any comments or questions on that? Seeing none, all in favor, please. So passed, thank you. Item B, Bancroft Community Safety and Wellbeing Committee. The motion before us is be it resolved that Council of the Corporation of the Town of Bancroft is hereby approve of the minutes of the Bancroft Community Safety and Wellbeing Committee meeting held on September 28, 2022 as presented. Could I have a mover and a seconder on that? Please move by Councillor Mullet. And second, at Councillor Wiggins, you'll move that. And Deputy Mayor, would you like to speak to those minutes, please? Yes, thank you. Um, it was a very interesting meeting um, for the last one of the season. Uh, we had two two uh, OPP officers from uh, uh, the Eastern uh, headquarters, and they came and they spoke about uh, human trafficking. 
And we all have an idea of what we think human trafficking is, but well, they, they certainly enlighten. I got a lot, a lot of ideas that I didn't think that they would even think of doing. So like labor wise and um, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it was a quite interesting presentation. We thank them for it. And um, it, we had one done, oh, I think about five years ago, but this one was more on to other, other items than, than sexual abuse and that type of thing. So. Uh, it was a good good meeting, and uh, I thank everyone for sitting on the committee for the last four years. And that was it. Thank you. So, uh, just one other thing I'd like to mention, Deputy Mayor. We also discussed the CBC article uh, that mm -hmm. um, came forward, uh, where the big city uh, mayors uh, mayors had requested, and that's any city of hundred thousand over had requested an emergency meeting with the province to deal with the homeless mental health and addiction issue. And um, it was two months later and they still had not received a, a response from the province, which the article uh, said they were disappointed on because uh, we know the issues we're having here and they're widespread everywhere and being felt uh, in big and small cities alike. So um, that was an interesting article as well. Yeah, we're, you know, we, we see it, we, we see it because I think it's such a small town and everything happens in the downtown, downtown course, you do see this, but it's happening all over in, in the North Bay, all over. And uh, it, it's far bigger than a small municipality. It, it's got to be looked after by, uh, by the problems and, and, and uh, the federal government. So hopefully they get to do something soon. Okay. Yeah, the article uh, pointed out that, you know, health care is a provincial responsibility and uh, social services as well and that um, they need to take the lead uh, for developing of a, a model or a system that uh, everybody can uh, follow and it's very absent right now. So thank you on that. Mm -hmm. Is there any other questions by or comments from anyone? All in favor for accepting, please. So pass, thank you. Uh, next item C, building property and bylaw committee, be it resolved that council of the corporation, of the town of Bancroft is hereby received the minutes of the Building Property and Bylaw Committee meeting held on September 27, 2022 is presented. Councillor Wiggins, you'll move that? I will. And Councillor Miles will second. Councillor Wiggins, would you speak on that, please? Yeah, I'd be uh, glad to speak on it. This committee is a, is a new committee we formed uh, in this council and it's to try to keep uh, along on the bylaw and property standards type of issues. And I think it's been very successful. Uh, we've had a great hardworking group uh, that uh, points things out and raises issues and discusses it with, with our staff. And then basically it's a staff that has to do the bylaws and get things in order. And I think they've done a heck of a job dealing with, along with everything else, say the COVID, et cetera, et cetera. But on our, uh, on our uh, task list, uh, there's around a dozen items on there that we, we've indicated that we need some work on. Um, the, uh, we have completed a total of five uh, bylaw in, in, um, improvements we wanted, uh, the dog bylaw. The, I'm very, very pleased to uh, say you come through this group up through um, the, um, the uh, building funds. The, uh, uh, the arena uh, renovations is on there and it's not completed, but uh, all indicated very shortly. Uh, the uh, planning we've put in, in plan for the uh, new works yard and uh, fire hall renovations for the next uh, council to hopefully follow for your plan on that. Uh, as I say, it's, it's been a great, great committee and, uh, and I'd just like to thank everyone for being there. If there's any questions, I would uh, gladly try to answer. Any questions for Councillor Wiggins? Seeing none, all in favor of accepting report, please. So pass, thank you. Item 11, item 11, minutes of local boards and joint committees. Uh, first one is the North Hastings Economic Development Committee. Be it resolved that Council of the Corporation, the Town of Bancroft, is hereby receive the minutes of the North Hastings Economic Development Committee meeting held on June 6 and September 12, 2022, as presented. Councillor Miles, you will move that. And seconded by. Councillor Kirby, Councillor uh, Miles, would you speak to this, please? 
Sure. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. So uh, the minutes from both of our meetings uh, will sort of highlight that uh, we were fortunate to work with the CFDC. They provided us uh, the uh, NHEDC with a small grant that allowed us to uh, bring forward to our website uh, sort of um, an experiential opportunity. So if you do something really fun in the area and you'd like to be able to share that and put it out there from a tourism, from an activity, from a, a, a local kind of flavor, uh, there, uh, the NHEDC will encourage you to uh, put that on the website. So uh, we've had some great steps towards finding some of the best things that occur in our neighborhood and sharing it out there. Um, we're engaging, uh, we're starting to have our website engage with people who are interested in blogging. So if you go out there and you do something kind of fun in the, in the community, uh, go, go ahead. It's, it's, there is a space right on the NHEDC website for, uh, you to blog about your experience. Um, those were the biggest projects that I think the website and those two pieces were the largest, uh, goals that we had over the summer. Um, the uh, over the last four years of sitting with the NHEDC, I think the trails was sort of the biggest project that was uh, that was out there. We were fortunate to recover some of the HST from that project, so the NHEDC is currently fairly healthy. Uh, we usually uh, tap into uh, local municipalities to help fund the group, but the um, HSD rebate will uh, puts us in a good standing, uh, at least for the next year, that's for sure, when it comes to making sure we have proper insurance and uh, moving forward in any projects that we might might need, including supporting the website. Um, each, you know, every time we meet, each of the municipalities uh, sort of share something that's going on. I won't go through all of those. They're, they're certainly there for anybody who would like to read uh, what we share when, when we are meeting. And one of the comments that keeps coming back, and uh, you mentioned it in your opening statement, Mr. Mayor, is we need accommodation. Uh, a, a homeless piece is another question, but another situation is we don't have hotels. We don't, we want people to come here, but we have limited space in where they can stay. And uh, really the other, uh, the other municipalities that surround us that sit on this committee also recognize uh, the need for that kind of thing and they certainly support it. So um, everybody is uh, feeling one of the things we need to start moving towards is moving beyond the pandemic and how do we uh, support uh, our businesses and how do we make sure that you know everybody has a chance to move forward. And I think that about wraps up uh, where we have been over the last uh, couple of months with the NHEDC. Mr. Mayor, thank you. Thank you, Councillor Miles. Is there any questions for Councillor Miles on that? Seeing none, all in favor, please. So passed, thank you. Next, Eastern Ontario Trails Alliance, be it resolved the Council of the Corporation, the Town of Bancroft, is hereby receive the minutes of the Eastern Ontario Trails Alliance meeting held on July 14th, 2022, as presented. Uh, Councillor Wiggins, you'll move that. Seconded by Councillor uh, Miles. So uh, please uh, bring us up to date on EOTA matters. That's July 14th a while ago. Yeah, and, that, and that's part of the... Uh procedures with different boards uh time the, they get approved back by our meeting then the next month they get approved and then they come to us so it's late so i try to bring you up to speed with what is going on we did have an eota meeting actually this week uh where we some of the highlights were uh uh the trail now is completely owned by the county of hastings that'll come up a little bit later on it used to be provincially half and and uh, county half so that will make it much, much easier to advance for uh, any any reasons you need to uh, add or, or get grants. It just takes one other person out of the, the mix. So that'll be a great advantage to us. Uh, one thing we're pushing for, and it, it's uh, right now that it's worth working with Justin uh, in the county, is we want to identify along the trail 911 markers, for lack of a better word, or crossings are, put up signs, et cetera, for safety where if someone's stranded or injured, the, the emergency services will have a little bit of a better location where to go looking for them. Um, other than that, the, uh, the other main thing is, is uh, today I was actually down to a meeting this morning in Madoc where we, uh, the Air Lake Bridge uh, was just officially opened and it was named by, by a guy that put, did a lot, a lot of work, put a lot of money into that and into our area, Daryl Cramps. So it's now called Cramps Crossings, which I think he was very, very pleased with. That was a $900,000 uh, 
project. And it, it now keeps the snowmobilers, the traffic, the ATVs, walkers off of the highway, and they can now go back safely across this bridge. So it's a great uh, addition to our trail system. And it's uh, certainly a safety thing that was definitely required. So there was a lot of, a lot of people put a lot of work into that uh, province, the municipality, definitely EOTA and also the Snowmobile Association were the main partners in it and good thing. So uh, other than that, uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else, any questions I try to answer anybody uh, on Barry? Uh, there are mile markers on the Heritage Trail now. Yeah, some, but there are locations where they're not too, eh? So. Yeah, I know, but it was posted uh, all the way through. Yeah. I know each crossroad has a has um, a nine one one number and stuff on that crossing as well. So. Yeah, so they want to upgrade all that and have it on record so that the EMS can have it and use it. Uh, uh, this this really came to light in uh, with the windstorms summer uh, caused a lot of cost to the uh, the uh, association to keep those open and get them cleared after the trails. And there were some people actually trapped in out there for uh, a short period of time on the trails. So it certainly is uh, more more help we can give the EMS people to get to them quicker, the better. So this is what this project's about. Thank yeah. you. Any other questions for Councillor Wiggins? Thank you, Councillor Wiggins. All in favor, please. So passed, thank you. Thank you. Bancroft North Hastings Heritage Museum be resolved the Council of the Corporation of the Town of Bancroft to hereby receive the minutes of the Bancroft North Hastings Heritage Museum meeting held on September 29th, 2022 as presented. Could I have a mover and a seconder? Councillor Wiggins will move, seconded by uh, Deputy Mayor. Okay, Councillor Wiggins, you're up again. Okay, it'll be short on this one too. Everyone has read them. We're uh, currently in our winter mode. Uh, so you can call for appointments or uh, Monday to Tuesday, but uh, there's a lot of things ongoing behind the scene we're waiting on. Uh, I know we're working on uh, with the administration town is to have a boot sale where uh, we can use this as a revenue. Uh, there's another project they're working on, Horizons Grant, which is another re re revenue source to try to make uh, the museum more uh, standalone and, and less less actual dollars right on onto the uh, taxpayers. Um, the other thing that uh, is in there is uh, I'm not sure if uh, Pat Hoover's got to talk Mary or not, but we need the front step needs to be rebuilt. They have a design. Uh, I believe it's a fair bit, of, not a lot of money, but a bit of money. And uh, being it's a town building, we, we were feeling that uh, the town maybe would step up and do that. So I know it's under discussion through the uh, treasury and, and uh, buildings uh, group. So uh, hopefully that'll come along quicker. Uh, other than that, I'm afraid that if there's any other questions, I try to answer. Any questions for Councillor Wiggins? Okay, seeing none, all in favor, please. Thank you. Thank you. Item D, Bancroft Business Improvement Area Board of Management be resolved that Council of the Corporation of the Town of Bancroft is hereby received the minutes of the Bancroft Business Improvement Area Board of Management meeting held on August 25th, 2022 as presented. So Councillor Kirby, you'll move that? Yes. And a seconder, please. Councillor Miles. So Councillor Kirby, please bring us up to speed. Well, there's a, a, the principal focus at the meeting was the recognition of the uh, overdose uh, week, where in fact they had the uh, issue of recognizing the tragedies of all the people who in fact had overdosed in the community and elsewhere. Uh, it also uh, was focused on the continuing decorations and the murals that were going up in the community itself. Uh, in addition to that, there was a uh, the nominations or the people who were requesting to be appointed to the uh, board uh, closed on October the 7th. So uh, the uh, I think that's pretty much it as far as the development was concerned. So I, uh, is there any questions um, for Councillor Kirby on anything? So Councillor Kirby, just uh, on behalf of the town, I'd like to thank the uh, BIA for all of the uh, various uh, projects, you know, ongoing. It's certainly making a difference to the uh, 
the downtown with the various mural projects and uh, of course what's going on with at the cenotaph right now as well so that's great uh, all in thank favor you. please thank you item a public works plow truck so i need to clerk for a second i have to ask a question uh, for clarification so um if we would like to defer an item, can we do it after we've read the resolution or do we have to do it before or what's the procedure? Uh, no, you can, you can read the resolution and then um, mover and seconder can agree to defer. Okay, thank you. Thank you, okay. Uh, public works plow trucks. So I'll read the resolutions here. Be it resolved that the uh, council, the corporation, the town of Bancroft is hereby Approve staff to source and purchase two used plow trucks for winter operations and further the council, the corporation, the town of Bancroft reallocates efficiency grant funds of up to 35,000 from the previously allocated funds in the landfill recycling department. And further that once the new trucks on order are put in service, the used trucks purchased with the efficiency grant funds would be automatically surplus and sold and further that any monies from disposal be replaced back into the efficiency grant fund monies. Could I have a mover and a seconder to put that on the table, please? Councillor Wiggins and Councillor uh, uh, Kirby. So uh, I was going to suggest a deferral on this item until uh, Monday um, so that we could collect some more information. Um, I did chat with the manager of Public Works today. There he is in his truck. Um, I think some of us have some reservations about uh, buying an older piece of equipment. And he actually said something to me today about uh, potential uh, use of funds. So I, th I think we probably should do a little bit, maybe more work on this and to, uh, to, to bring it back on, uh, on Monday. So obviously I can't make that recommendation for, for a deferral. So Perry, I'd let you speak, go ahead. Well, thank you, uh, Your Worship, and members of council and members of staff. So the, the reason this uh, is coming to our council uh, table at this time is I just wanted to uh, give everyone notification that uh, with the uh, with the incident uh, last spring with the 2008 single axle, uh, that truck is out of commission and it is being um, ordered, but it's going to be a long time out. So we are. Uh, the reason for the ask uh, of management at this point is because we are low on trucks. We don't have enough trucks right now at the current moment uh, that are certified and, and drivable to, in order to meet uh, our current minimum maintenance standards. So um, I know it's kind of uh, putting the car to the head of the horse here, but we're looking to just infill with uh, some type of a vehicle so that we can continue on our winter maintenance uh, operations um, as mandated by the province with the minimum maintenance standards. Okay, thank you. So I'm gonna go back to my uh, request for a deferral so we can uh, gather some more information and bring it forward at Monday. Uh, Monday. I tried to call you uh, Councillor McGiven to discuss, but uh, uh, you weren't available at the, at the time, et cetera. So um, yeah. So if, somebody, if, if we're in agreement, if I could have somebody make that motion to defer until uh, our, our special council meeting that we plan on calling for uh, Monday. So move by Councillor Tracy McGibbon, seconded by Councillor Wiggins. You got your hand up there, Wayne? I thought she said the same people had to do it, but it could be oh. wrong. Okay, who moved it? And so, Councillor Wiggins did. and uh, Councillor Kirby seconded. Okay, that happened three minutes ago. I can't expect you to remember <laughs> that far back, so. Yeah. So it's a technicality. You can get the next one, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Councillor Wiggins, you're okay with that? Sure. Yep. Great. Councillor Kirby? All in favor, please. Thank you. Uh, next item, item B, rally the Tall Pines Road request. Be it resolved, the Council of the Corporation of the Town of Bancroft is hereby approve of the 2022 rally of the Tall Pines Road request as outlined in their letter dated September 19, 2022. Could I have a mover and a seconder on that, please? Moved by Councillor Miles and seconded by Councillor Tracy McGibbon. Perry, was there anything you wanted to uh, speak to that or is it pretty well the norm? Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. No, it's pretty well the norm. It's a uh, standard procedure that uh, we have this road agreement completed and 
issued to our council for approval uh, prior to the this year's event. Great. Okay. Uh, all in favor of that, please. So passed. Thank you. Uh, next item we have here is uh, year to date update as of quarter three, January to September 2022. Be it resolved that the Council of the Corporation of the Town of Bancroft is hereby accept the Treasurer's year to date report for information purposes only. Could I have a mover and a seconder on this, please? Moved by Councillor Kirby, seconded by Deputy Mayor. And let me just get it here. Okay, so Wendelin. Yep. It's, it's up to you. Tell us. Okay, the so um, pretty much in a nutshell, we're um, within budget in the departments and in some departments, we are having a little uptick in some of the revenues there. So I didn't want to skew things. So the chart shows the operational budgets to show the expenditures as normal. Um, so I didn't know if council had any specific questions on any no, um, um, of the departments. My only comment is, is that uh, we're through 75% of the year and I know always that expenses don't always follow the, follow the linear line, but uh, all of them are underneath that mark and some of them are substantially underneath that mark. So I, I viewed this as good news. Uh, yes. Yeah. And you also mentioned on the revenue side, um, and yes, we have had some extra gains uh, that I think we need to, uh, to set aside for comparison purposes so that we're not skewing our, you know, when we analyze one year to other, because we did realize gains from the sale of uh, portions of uh, block uh, 68. Right. And I do believe, when did the uh, Old Town office sale close? In, was it in September? Uh, September 29th. So close. that would be in your, in the third, in that report as um, well. We did, yeah, it'll be in the fourth quarter. It's not in these, um, oh, in okay. the report. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because we didn't get all the legal info okay. till later. But I, I took from the report that even barring those, that revenues were up in certain areas as well. Yeah. So we'll be also looking um, going forward at um, the fee schedules with the new council as well to make sure um, we're capturing everything correctly and giving that a, another review. Now, Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm going by memory here. We did, did we not create a, a reserve account for when we did the sale of these uh, surplus properties or had we not formalized that yet? Um, it would be going in the special initiatives reserve right. Um, right now, but usually what I do is come year end, I would do a formal um, resolution by council so it's clear where everything would be going. Okay. Thank you. Uh, questions for members of council? Councilor Kirby. Just wondering uh, on the Flint Street parking lot, whether that is going to develop at the same time over the course of the uh, spring and early winter, or I mean, fall and early winter, or whether it's gonna be deferred. Well, that, uh, now that the money for that is coming from a, uh, a reserve account right now, so it would not affect uh, our budget. But as far as the timing of doing that lot, I'm assuming it'll be in the spring with the other construction. So, uh, Perry, could you comment on that, please? Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, thank you, Councillor Kirby. Uh, so within the scope of this project this fall, uh, we've already uh, installed a stormwater pipe from Main Street into the uh, Flint Street parking lot area. Uh, ready for the catch basin that will accommodate all the water of the TD Bank parking lot. Uh, the plans will be next spring uh, when the contractor will be here to do phase two of the main street construction that we will be able to uh, have that parking lot prepped and paved uh, and ready to go uh, hopefully by the May long weekend is when we're hoping that the TD Bank parking lot will be ready and phase two will be completed. Thank you. Uh, anybody else with a question? I saw somebody else. Yes, Councillor Wiggins. Just one quick question. Uh, on our budget, we have under animal, we have a thousand dollar budget and two hundred and seventy expense. 
or read out. Uh, what's that? Do you mind? Quick. Um, I think those are incidental fees um, to deal with the dog pound. I'd have to look. I didn't look at the specific well, I, where it was paid. I think our, our contribution to the dog pound thousand, I believe. And that's what, how much? Sorry, couldn't hear you. It's just over nine thousand. Yeah. But yeah, this so is over and above the levy. Okay, thank you. Anyone else with any questions? Not sure. Okay, good. Well, glad to see that everything is churning along, um, especially in light of uh, record inflation and uh, costs that seem to be much, much higher than the stated rate of inflation. So uh, good work to all, uh, uh, to all staff on that. So all in favor for accepting the report, please. So passed, thank you. Thank you. And item D, 2023 OPP annual billing statement to be resolved, Council of the Corporation, the Town of Bancroft is hereby received the 2023 annual billing statement for the Town of Bancroft for information purposes only. Could I have a mover and a seconder on that? Councillor Muller, would you move that please? And second it by Councillor Tracy McGibbon. Um, Councillor Mullet, do you have any comments on this? Um, not many. I was, I was, I did talk, speak to Wendland or send her an email here when, when we first got that. And I, I you know, I wonder what the comparison was, was uh, to the to last year's. Uh, she said it's up about two point one eight, I think, Wendland. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, two point one eight what percent or thousands or hundreds of thousands <laughs> percent. For that, okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but um, yeah, I didn't go, I didn't go, you know, to every every, every one, but uh, I was, I didn't want to book at all, but I figured that 2.1 percent that wasn't too bad, yeah. I, I don't know if you have any information on this, um, Deputy Mayor, but you know, uh, my understanding is there's going to be additions to the staffing complement in the next number of months, etc. Uh, yeah. and I'm assuming that's going to increase the detachment's overall cost. Uh, I'm, I'm just assuming that as well. So, uh, well, and, and, I'm, and I'm hopefully assuming that that the two two point one percent includes those. I think there's six new officers coming. Okay. But yeah, yeah, uh, six new officers. That's going to cost us more money, of course. Um, and of course, the uh, we the the OPP have now uh, joined with the mental health. Um, and, 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 and public health in regarding having a, uh, a mental health worker go with, a, go with the officer to some of these mental health calls. So um, I, think that, I think that is actually paid for by, by, the, by, by the health, public health. Uh, so that should help, we hope, uh, with, with some of these incidents. But um, Yep, we, we're supposed to get, I think, six new ones when, when they graduate this fall. Okay. And uh, as well, of course, we re, uh, the, between the OPP and the town contribution, we've got the new closed circuit television system coming in. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if, if anybody's had any discussions and how that's actually going to proceed ahead or, um, you know, or, is, or, or did they not have the technical details as of yet? I, I haven't heard of any technical detail. I'm assuming that it would be a joint venture between the technical division and and um, our staff. I would assume, but uh, we have we've had no um, we had a meeting about a month ago, and there was no discussion about that I that I recall. And but I, I'll I'll contact the staff and 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 speak with the uh, staff sergeant and see if there's any more news. Yeah, he did yeah. send me that this one that came along. Okay, thanks. Yeah, be, or how many cameras we're getting, et cetera. So, mm -hmm. uh, Councillor Wiggins. Yeah, I just wondered uh, through uh, Council, or Deputy Mayor Mullet there, if, you know, while, they're, while they're talking to him, you can deal with uh, Perry Kelly, et cetera, and make sure that the new uh, locations are going to correspond with the wiring, et cetera, that's being done downtown. Because now mm -hmm. the time if we need it. Well, now they, have, they, have, they, they need to work together because. Were they, were they Sorry, Dan. Where we Perry, Perry's got something to say here. He's got some wisdom to give us. 
Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's wisdom or not, but thank you for the comment. <laughs> um, we have been speaking with the uh, with the contractor or with the supplier of our uh, street lighting and street lighting poles, and uh, he's been giving me a little bit of insight of the adaptability of the uh, closed circuit uh, camera system. So um, we're definitely looking ahead to make sure that uh, when we do the install here, that we'll be uh, hopefully fully accessible. Um, for this uh, close uh, close cameras. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Perry, if I could ask one question with Perry, um, I'm assuming you and uh, maybe Pat and whoever the technical people are with OPP will will be putting a list together where, of where the cameras are going to go and what it cost on all that. Um, Deputy Mayor Mullet, I I would defer that to uh, our general manager, but I I would like to be a part of that. Um, I'm not certain. Uh, uh, what the uh, funding allocations are or anything of that sort yet, but uh, we'll definitely uh, be on top of things. Yeah, well, there she is. Audra? Hi. So, yes, I uh, did confirm with Perry that the cameras under the grant will fit on the existing poles. Um, we won't be doing any of those installs while there's actually construction happening downtown. That will happen after the fact, and we will work with Perry and Pat uh, to figure out where those locations are in consultation with the OPP uh, to get them mounted in the appropriate spots. Mm -hmm. And, and if, with, the, with, with the dollar value, I think the grant was 29,000 or something. We and, have and to we, pay, yeah. And we, we match it. That's right. That's yeah. So I'm just wondering if, if uh, someone can give us an idea of, of you know, how, many, how many cameras are we talking? So I've asked uh, the OPP detachment to provide us with uh, information about the grant that they submitted because it's their grant. We're just mm -hmm. partners in it. Um, so I'm, I'm waiting for those details to come back with the exact number of cameras that were approved. Good. Thank you. Okay. Um, Councillor Kirby. Yeah, just a quick question. I mean, the, I'm assuming that in fact the the ones that are working with the OPP are on town property and that in fact, any public uh, merchants initiative is not linked to the same system and they would be true standalone systems or am I correct? Yes, that's right. Um, the approved system through the OPP is a, a, a closed circuit monitoring system. Um, so it is separate from anything that a merchant on the main street might have and not part of that uh, program that they're running right now to to collect camera imaging from merchants and private citizens who wish to provide it. Thank you. Yes, yeah, they have a formal program, don't they, for capturing that? Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you for the question, Councillor Kirby. Anyone else? Okay. Uh, all in favor, please. Thank you. Item E. Uh, New Horizons for Seniors Grant Expression of Interest. So we have uh, two resolutions here, but I'm going to ask for the same thing as I, I asked for on the, uh, uh, the plow truck scenario. We just received some new information today. The report was updated. Uh, I don't think many of us have had a time to really uh, to look at the, uh, the two different uh, expressions of interest because we can only choose one to, uh, to go forward. And uh, um, my suggestion is, is that we, uh, and also, sorry, our um, fire chief isn't here with, you know, representing parks, et cetera, because the, the one being uh, would involve the, uh, of course, the Dungannon Rec Center and to get some information from him as well. So, uh, my suggestion was is that, uh, can we defer before we do the resolutions, Amber? Um, I would ask that the resolutions be read and then. Okay, but I've got two resolutions. I normally would, so just defer each one individually then? Yes, please. Okay. So again, we would bring this back on Monday. We would bring this back on Monday. So we'll just give us a little time and maybe stop to give us a little more information. So. First resolution is be it resolved the Council of the Corporation Town of Bancroft is hereby receive the New Horizons for Seniors Grant Report is presented by the clerk. Well, we can receive that report. So could I have a mover and a seconder on that, please? Uh, Councillor Wiggins, Councillor Tracy McGibbon, uh, all in favor for receiving the report, please. Thank you. The second one, be it resolved the Council of the Corporation Town of Bancroft is hereby approved 
of the somebody's application to apply for a New Horizon for Seniors grant up to 25,000 for 2023. Um, we don't have a, we don't even have a name filled in there. So I'm not really sure how we move this one forward. So can we just defer this one? Yes, Since that's is, fine. Yeah. Yeah. So Councillor Miles, you'll, you'll um, move to defer this. Thank you. And a seconder for deferral of, of this. Uh, Councillor Kirby. So all in favor, please. Thank you. So these items, the, the, the previous one and this one will both uh, come back on, uh, on, on Monday to our special. I think we're going to have a, a committee of the whole meeting so we can have actual some good discussion and then we'll move directly after that uh, to pass the resolutions at, at Council. Okay. Mayor? Yes. Well, can I ask a question on this just before it's gone? As long as it's not too much of a question, okay. Well, I, I, I'm not sure it's probably under or Amber. Is it only one application we're allowed, or is it a, the 25? So there can be multiple applications, but only to a maximum of 25,000. So, you. yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, next item F, building permit year to date with annual comparison report, be it resolved the Council of Corporation the Town of Bancroft is hereby received. The 2022 building permit year to date with annual comparison report for information purposes only. Could I have a mover and a seconder on this, please? Councillor Miles moves and a seconder, Councillor uh, Kirby. So Andra, would you like to present this to us? Sure thing. Um, I pulled this together just to kind of wrap up for this council where they're ending their term. Um, so this has been uh, an amazing year and of activity in our building department. Um, while our number of permits is what we would normally anticipate that it should be in a year, we're at 49 right now. In 2019, we had 53. In 2020, we had 51. So we're right around where our average would be. Um, the values of our properties are uh, much higher. We've had several large commercial uh, projects come forward, which have helped to um, drive that number up. We've also issued the permit for the second tower at the Bancroft, uh, the old Bancroft Public School site. So that has also uh, increased our number of total uh, units, housing units this year, as well as our, our building value. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, so that's the 37 that you got there. Okay. Um, Question. 30, 37 new multi residential and 16 single residential units this year. Okay. So 53 in total. And that compares to last year on the uh, single of 24. And I think uh, while that number is down a fair bit, I don't think it's a, an indication of um, interest or want, more of availability of trying to, uh, you know, with uncertainty over costing. And the ability to get materials has resulted in a lot of deferrals uh, by folks right now. So anyway, it's my two cents worth, if it's worth anything. Any other comments or questions on that? Councillor Miles. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. You know, the valuation totally speaks to housing overall within the, the, uh, the region, quite frankly. And uh, is this the number that MPAC would then use to establish property values to uh, know is, is, are these just, how do we determine property value of something that's not built yet? Do they take a price per square foot? So it's, it's not property value. It's the estimated value of the construction. Um, so, you know, depending on whether you're putting a prefab house or a multi-level or a timber beam, the construction values are different based on what it will cost to put that structure there. MPAC does its assessment after the final occupancy permit is completed to determine what the, the value of the new construction is. But for permit purposes, we kind of uh, look at what the construction cost is, and that's what our permit values are based on. And does somebody, somebody in the province set that valuation? Like, is there someone, is there somebody that says, Every stick building is this much per square foot. Every prefab is this much per square foot. Every uh, how do, how is or or how does that how is that determined? I can't believe I'm asking this after four years. How how, how is that number determined? Uh, largely, it's based on what the 
person declares on their building permit as the value of the construction that you're they're doing. They have to provide some uh, evaluations and costings and stuff in their permit. Um, and as long as it's reasonable with what they're building, um, then I, I think they pretty much accept that as the, the value of the construction. So if you Thank told you. me it was gonna cost $50,000 to build a new house, I'd tell you that's not a reasonable cost. Uh, but if you said you told me it was going to be 200,000 for the prefab that you're putting on an existing pad, that probably makes sense. And uh, we would take that as the construction value and then have them determine the actual value of the structure for residential purposes once it was built. Thank you. So going back to the other part of your question regarding impact and what shows up on the assessment. So MPAC is using, uh, I forget what year they're working on, their assessment model is based on. It's uh, extremely old. 2016. <laughs> 2016. So I think it's probably quite safe to say that uh, an MPAC assessment could quite easily come in much less than half of really what the, uh, the market value is. Now, of course, MPAC values are only a distribution model. So uh, it doesn't affect what we get as a municipality. We still set what we need and the, uh, the, the, the market value assessment by M impact just determines what individual, what portion individual properties pay of that. So uh, I'm not sure if we are due for it, to keep to deferred the, uh, the reassessment period over the last number of years because of the pandemic. I'm not sure if it's slated to go ahead in 2023. Wendlin, do you know that if it's supposed to come back? Um, no, so 2023 will still mirror 2022 for assessments. They have yeah. not yet yeah. uh, moved that forward yet. The only thing that will pro that will happen that some people think is favorable is is that our uh, our tax rates should go down, um, but that's completely offset by the fact that the the property values show as higher. So when you multiply A times B, you still end up paying, you know, relatively the same amount of tax. Uh, yeah. Those whose assessments went up more than the average end up paying a little bit more than they used to, and those whose assessments go up less than the average might end up paying a little less than they normally uh, would. They normally would. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah. M impact is just a distribution model of who who pays what percentage of uh, of the tax bill. So, anyway. Thank you, uh, Andre. Anything else that uh, like? Has activity slowed down? Are they still busy getting permit applications? Uh, they're still pretty busy. There's um, he's receiving one or two permits a week for different things, and it's it's pretty consistent and pretty busy. Folks are really um, amping up their construction activity now and asking for more inspections because they're trying to get stuff done before the snow flies that they haven't got to yet. So um, they're pretty busy. Okay, thank you. All in favor, please. So pass, thank you. Gosh, you have to say the word Christmas in the next one. I guess it's coming. Christmas office closure. Be it resolved the Council of Corporation of Town of Bancroft is hereby approved the closure of the town office from noon on Friday, December 23rd, 2022 to 8.30 a.m. on Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023. Could I have a mover and a seconder on that, please? Councillor Wiggins, Councillor Miles, any comments or questions? Having seen none, all in favor, please. Thank you. Okay, uh, let me just go up here next here. Um, item H, RFP 01 2022 Bancroft Arena Improvement Project. Be it resolved the Council of the Corporation of the Town of Bancroft is hereby received RFP 01 2022. Bancroft Arena Improvement Project 2022 for information purposes only. Could I have a mover and a seconder, please? Councillor Miles moves, Councillor Kirby seconds. Uh, Andre, would you speak to your report, to this report and the next steps that we're taking on this, please? Absolutely. So we put out the RFP for the arena improvement uh, in September. We extended the initial deadline by a week due to some pricing challenges and that uh, deadline closed at 1 p.m. Uh, last Friday. We did receive two submissions, one from Beacon Construction and one from LDR Contracting. Both of the bids were over the uh, estimated and approved budget uh, based on the grant that we received. So 
Uh, staff looked at the two bids. Both of them were valid bids. So we eliminated the highest bid, which was the bid by LBR Contracting, uh, and have reached out to Beacon Construction to meet with them to get a further breakdown of their uh, RFP costs by, by item to determine if there are places where we can find some efficiencies uh, and make some changes to keep us within the original scope of the budget uh, that we have to work with. So we'll be meeting with them on Friday uh, and assuming that we can figure out how to make our budget work, we will be bringing a report back to council on Monday to approve the RFP to get the work started. Thank you. Any questions on that? Seeing none, all in favor, please. Thank you. Um, okay, the next one, be, uh, by law enforcement calls for service report. Be resolved, Council of the Corporation of Town of Bancroft is hereby received a by law enforcement report outlining calls for service between August 1st, 2022 and September 30th, 2022 for information purposes only. Could I have a mover and a seconder on that? Uh, Count, Deputy Mayor and Councillor Wiggins. And I guess, Andre, you were going to speak to that because since Mark is not here. Yeah, Mark's not here. I thought maybe he'd be in today, um, but I didn't see him on Friday to uh, invite him to attend. So this is just his summary from his last report of the things that uh, he's been working with. Um, as you can see, the biggest things continue to be clean yards and comprehensive zoning. Um, the comprehensive zoning is shipping containers, um, things placed on places they're not supposed to be, lots of animal uh, things in there as well that are specific to comprehensive zoning. So farms on residential properties, those kind of things. Uh, so he continues to work away at those as best he can. He has resolved several outstanding issues, but for everyone that goes away, another one comes along. So uh, he remains busy and vigilant and following up on the ones that are open. Thank you. Any comments or questions? Councillor Wiggins. I'd just like to make a comment that I'm glad to see the, uh, the resolve number there. For a long time, people uh, uh, were feeling that nothing was being done on these complaints. So this is the, uh, the bylaw officer is out there working and trying to solve these. So I'm yeah. glad to see that number in, in the uh, completed resolved uh, category. So a question for Ariandra, once the AMPS system is implemented, uh, will, and I'm assuming it'd be similar to what Hastings Highlands uses where you can actually, without identifying the actual location, you can view each individual um, situation or report. Is that correct? Or does that come through some other piece of software? That'll be through our um, the new software that we're receiving training on now. The citywide training will log all of the uh, complaints, whether they're road or bylaw or whatever, so that we can pull reports about the specific uh, instances, how many days they were open, how long it took to close them, um, those those kind of things, and identify trends. AMPS is just the bylaw that allows us to issue a, a monetary penalty if someone doesn't uh, comply. Uh, right. but the, the actual software will be the citywide software where those uh, penalties will be will levied. Be logged. Okay, thank you. Any any other questions? Okay, seeing none, all in favor, please. Thank you. So consent agenda for information, be it resolved the consent agenda items 16B to 16N be received by the Corporation of Town of Bancroft for information. Uh, again, uh, if anybody would like anything pulled out to discuss it in detail, uh, please identify. If not, we would, can, can put these on. A, in a, you, know, you can still make comments on one as long as it's not uh, in-depth, et cetera. So uh, mover and a seconder to, uh, as described, Councillor Wiggins, seconded by uh, Deputy Mayor. Okay. Is there anything that anybody would like to make comment on? on any of those right there. So, uh, Deputy Mayor, please. You're muted. Okay, thank you. Uh, on on uh, L, it's from the Solicitor General and it's, it's to do with the uh, 
community safety and policing act 2019 that they're working on so that each uh, each disaster will have a of a uh, Ontario Provincial Police Board. Uh, and by the looks of it, they're looking, they're looking to implement that uh, lately by the, within the new year anyway. Um, they were asking for names and, and items and I haven't gotten back to them because I thought, well, we better wait until after the election to see who's gonna be around and go from there. So there was, I'm just going to bring that report up. I thought there was some, I was confused about it. They were talking about uh, ministries working towards an enforced date for between fall 23 and winter 24. Uh, but then it says further down, it says we're working to finalize proposed compositions by November 22. So uh, there seemed to be a big disconnect between those dates. I didn't quite understand that. No, and I, I didn't either. And uh, I mean, I, <laughs> I mean, it's a government, so <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we, there's no. I don't know why they're pushing to get uh, to get 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 it in um, the numbers and the, and the people by the end of the year, by the end of November. But yeah, anyway. because it will be another year after that before. Well, the, by the sound of it, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, I thought I was missing something, but I guess I'm not. You know, no. I guess I'm not. So you know, okay. <laughs> it's, any other comments on that, uh, Councillor Wiggins? I just saw on F uh, again, uh, where the county has has bought the Eastern Heritage Trail from the uh, from the. I think that's a great uh, a great thing for for the county and for for the trail. It, it eliminates a lot of the paperwork, but it also now the county has a trail or a corridor, for lack of a better word, from one end of the county to the other. That if they ever need it for other uses possibly they can work with the trail associations and make it happen thinking maybe five was what down the road but good. anyway that's a, a good news story for the county and for us good thank you okay all in favor please so passed thank you item 17 consent agenda for support it resolved the council of the corporation of town of bankrupt is hereby support items listed under consent agenda item 17b it's increased speeding resolution from Gray Highlands. Uh, who would like, Amber, do you, uh, do you wanna talk on this or tell us what the gist of this one is? It, I, I just have to, <laughs> no, I I just have to pull it. Uh, uh, where is culture of drivers? It looks like there's just an increased um, speeding infractions in Gray Highlands, and they've circulated uh, to all municipalities, AMO and Roma, for greater support. Okay. Oh, I think, okay. I, I read it backwards. So uh, I thought they felt that the, uh, maybe it had something to do with the current stunt driving uh, over the limit issue, but uh, I guess they're looking for extra enforcement and they're, and they're, somewhat complaining about what they feel is a 20 kilometer uh, grace period that's uh, implemented. I'm fine as long as they don't stop me, you know. Um, any comments or questions on that? I think they're concerned about safety and, and uh, driving speeds, which does cause accidents. So in yeah. some ways, I think we should support it. However, as you say, it's kind of the norm to drive a little over. And well, that's what they've noted here, but I guess they're just looking for increased vigilance on it. So I, I think we and can I, support that. I would like to say that through our speed tracking signs that uh, Perry's got out and through the safety committee trying to get the uh, safety zone by the school up here. So I think we're, we're uh, attacking it from inside. So that's so we, can still we can still support their... Definitely, definitely support it. Okay, so on, uh, Amber, do I need a mover and a seconder to support that, or the fact that we've already put this on the table, that's the mover and seconder to support? How does this work on this? Um, I actually, I don't have the mover and seconder. I might have missed it, though. Okay, maybe I forgot <laughs> to ask for it. Um, that was two minutes ago. I can't remember that far back. So uh, let's do this again. Could we have a mover and a seconder for this, please? So if you moved it last time, Councillor Miles and Councillor Kirby. Okay. So that's basically our yep. indication of support. Okay, all yep, in that's fine. Okay, all in favor, please. Thank you. Uh, it's been a long day. Um, item 18, community announcements and events. 
So is there anybody that would like to mention or discuss uh, anything with respect to uh, community announcements or events? So not that many going on right now. Okay, Andra. I will just mention that the last farmer's market of the season will be this Saturday. So if you haven't got your pumpkins or your seasonal squash and stuff yet, stop by the market, uh, bid everyone a, a great winter season and pick, <coughs> let me pick up your fall veggies. Thank you. And while it's not an event, I, I saw on uh, social media about the, the closing of Eagle's Nest on the 24th, I believe it was of October. And I was uh, uh, questioning our GM today and she mentioned to me about uh, some dangerous tree removal and some other maintenance uh, items that are going on. So that's why the, maybe what it, some might perceive as an early date, but of course they have to get all that work done before there is any indication of, uh, of snow up there. So if you do get asked, that is the reason on that. Councillor Kirby, you had a question? Uh, no, I just wanted to say that the, uh, I see on Facebook that in fact the photograph of the uh, Jubilee Grant signage that's gone up is available for anybody who wants to have a look at it. It's uh, commemorating the the deaths that took place and the injuries on the uh, uh, on the on the wars. And so I thought um, it was a very large sign. It's um, it's up for anybody who would like to have a look at it. Yeah, thank you, Councillor Kirby. Councillor Tracy McGivin, did you have your hand up? I did. Um, I was at tried to get to the Eagles Nest yesterday with Emma and. You couldn't even get up there. The, there were people parked on the sides of the road down to the point where it was too dangerous to park anymore. So it was incredible to see that many people there. So we ended up going to um, High Falls, but uh, yeah, incredible, incredible volume of people up there this weekend. So wonderful. And I was up there on Saturday, I believe, in the same thing. And definitely uh, a lot of um, people from out of town and of course, that prompted the discussion of where are they all staying. So it will be nice when we get our own hotels so they can stay here in town and support our local merchants, et cetera. So anyway. Uh, OK. Last, we have bylaws. First, second, and third reading. The result of the following bylaws be introduced or read a first, second, and third time and be finally passed, and that the mayor and clerk do sign and seal the same. Any rule of this council to the contrary notwithstanding. Bylaw number 92-2022, a bylaw to amend comprehensive zoning bylaw number 27, 2006, as amended. Bylaw number 93, 2022, being a bylaw to implement an administrative monetary penalty system bylaw in the town of Bancroft. Bylaw number 94-2022, being a bylaw to amend Schedule A to bylaw number 03, 2019, being a bylaw to appoint committee members to various boards, committees, and commissions for the town of Bancroft. Could I have a mover and a seconder on that, please? Uh, Councillor Wiggins and Deputy Mayor, any questions, comments? Seeing none, all in favor, please. Thank you. Confirming bylaw, first, second, and third reading be resolved that a bylaw to confirm the proceedings of the meeting of council held on October 11th, 2022, be given a first, second, and third reading and be finally passed, signed, sealed, and numbered bylaw 95-2022. Could I have a mover and a seconder, please? Councillor Miles moved, seconded by Councillor Kirby. Uh, all in favor, thank you. So the next regular meeting of council is not until December, but as I did mention, uh, we'll on a Monday, we'll probably have a, we will have a committee of the whole session to, uh, to discuss some of the items that we're seeking some further information on here today. And that will be followed immediately by a council meeting to, uh, to either uh, to, to verify past, et cetera, any, uh, any of those items. I believe there uh, is three coming forward at that time. Councillor Kirby, did you have a question? Yes, I just I wasn't sure what the start date was, the start timing was for that. Meeting. Uh, uh, three o'clock. Uh, Amber, is that correct? Three o'clock? Is... You'll wait for Amber to come back. Um, three o'clock will not work. How about Andrew, four? Um, Andrew and I are not available until after 5 p.m. because of election oh. stuff. Yeah. OK, I spoke to Andre today. I didn't think that she, she initially felt you guys would be back by then. So you're there the, the whole day? Yes, I have uh, a lot of time at uh, Riverside Chateau till 5 p.m. Okay. Um, 
Well, this is going to be a little later meeting then, obviously, guys. So um, what should we say, six? Does that work? We'll give you time, Amber, to... Yep, yep six is fine. Okay. Okay. Six o'clock it is then. Okay. Thank you very much. So you'll put out the notices, obviously, for both Committee of the Whole and followed immediately by Council then. So, okay. That'll still be by Zoom, right? Yes. That'll Good. still be by Zoom. So, okay. <laughs> Okay, so be it resolved that the regular meeting of council hereby closed is at 421. Could I have a mover to adjourn, please? Councilor Wiggins, so for the last time in the current council, you adjourn the regular council meeting, so. I might, 